Hey, this is Matt Blackburn and you're watching Divine Superconductor TV. I haven't made a video in a while, so while I'm doing my daily routine of replenishing my probiotic farm here, I thought I would just show you guys what I do. It's really simple. So this is my setup for the most part. I have more in here going. That's uh, sauerkraut. And I have another one of those big lemonades. And essentially all it is is if you're just getting started with health, if you haven't been doing anything for your health and you're wondering where to get started, gut health is the best thing. All you do is you go to Ace Hardware, is my favorite store to get these, and you get these mason jars. These are half gallon mason jars. These lids aren't necessary. You can see one trick I have here is just a coffee filter with a rubber band around it. This is a really easy way to get started, really cheap. Otherwise, you would get four of these for I think it's like 25 bucks. And they work kind of well, but what I found is over time that will kind of flare up. So in the end, I'll probably end up going back to basics with something like this. You just want it to be able to breathe because these guys are alive. This is all you do. You get probiotics. I got these at a conference I was at, the Bulletproof Conference. Yeah, there are 30 capsules in here, and I just put one capsule in each one of these brews. And what's going to happen is I'm going to farm these guys, and they eat sugar. So that's what I have in this one. This is organic cane sugar from Costco. It was really cheap. I think it's like 10 pounds for $8 or something. So this is my favorite one. It is uh, basically lemons. I just packed it full of lemons, sliced lemons, uh, fill it with water, and then you break a probiotic capsule in there. It doesn't have to be this one. Just go to the refrigerated section in your grocery store and find one with a high strain count. You want to get at least 10, 15, 20, closer to 30, 40 strains if you can. Break it in there, and then all you'll do is, this is what I'm drinking now, and it's delicious. If you ever eat a heavy meal, if you ever have food poisoning like I had once, drink a little bit of this and you'll feel lighter, you'll feel amazing. This is a staple for me. Uh, I also do quite a lot of sauerkraut that I make, but just to have this drink, if you're feeling full, or if you're about to eat ice cream, it's gonna be another video I make. This is really great ice cream. This is a food, and this is grass fed ice cream. If we're gonna eat sugar, especially there's some cane sugar in here, wouldn't it be nice to introduce some bacteria that are gonna process that for me? So I'm not just getting this huge amount of sugar. Instead, my pre-ice cream, if I were to eat that, which I might tonight, might not, is this. And I would drink this whole jar. And I'm getting definitely billions, possibly trillions of bacteria. So what I did is I poured about half of this from my other jar that I already put away. And then I filled it another half uh, with this. So each time I'll use maybe a quarter just because if you bring it all the way down to the to the bottom, it's going to take longer for these guys to kind of replenish, depending on the ambient temperature. When it's summer, when it's hot, when there's a lot of infrared heat coming through the walls, these ferment a lot faster. During the winter, they slow down. With the lemons, they're going to go in there and they're going to eat the sugar. They're going to live inside of it. And then just to beef it up, I'll still add cane sugar which I already did to this, and then I just filled it up with water. But since I didn't add these kefirs yet, I'll show you what I do. So when I make my drink, I add a little bit from my four jars that I have going. So these are water kefir, kefir grains, kefir, however you want to pronounce it. It's about half full with them, and my friend Griffin sent me these from across the states, and I've been breeding them. When I started, I just had maybe a quarter of a jar, and they're actually growing. They're producing more kefir grains, which is pretty cool. 
This is literally all I do. Force them in, give out about half. And then these guys eat sugar, just like they eat sugar in our body. So I put cane sugar in there. I don't really measure anything out. And that was probably about two tablespoons. And then I add from this one. And that's it. And that was full, so didn't dump as much out from this one. And again, about one or two tablespoons. And sometimes this will even fizz. Let's see if it goes. Sometimes when you add sugar, it'll actually fizz, which is really cool to watch the microbes reacting to the sugar. So these are bacteria that are sugar eaters. So the best time to drink this drink is on a empty stomach. And this is the best thing. If you're not even buying organic, if you haven't really gone into this whole health thing, get the gut in balance first. That's a great start because the amount of salts that we have on our gut is beyond belief. So if you want to do homemade bone broth, if you want to buy bone broth, if you want to get on these probiotics, sauerkraut, really it's good to have fermented foods if you can with every meal or just every day on an empty stomach. My favorite time to take probiotics is before bed and I really feel the difference when I do that. It's as easy as going to the store and buying a bottle of probiotics and you'll probably spend $30, $40 and it will last you a while because you only add one capsule every three to six months. There's only a certain number of times these guys can replicate, like generations, before they get weaker. I found that with my brews. Just good to open one capsule in the brews every three to six months. And then you just buy organic cane sugar. It should be the white stuff. Don't get the brown cane sugar. Don't get coconut sugar. Just get plain old organic white cane sugar. I've tried the other ones. They don't work as well. And drink this every day. And remember that these bacteria are responsible for a lot of our immune system for actually making our neurotransmitters in combination with a high nutritive diet, like a whole foods diet with probiotics is super powerful. Just remember that we're getting hit on all angles with our gut health. When you look at the toxins in our environment, uh, from heavy metals to chemicals used in agriculture and on and on, there's holes that are being punched in our gut, especially if we go out to eat and we're eating processed foods. To give our gut all the support we can, that's gonna support every other system in our body. Because if you have undigested food particles leaking through the holes in your gut into your bloodstream, that's the primary cause of allergies, of brain fog, of fatigue, of a lot of things. To just get your gut integrity down, and you do bone broth, and you do sauerkraut, you can do this probiotic drink. I've heard glutamine, if you take the amino acid glutamine. Just try a whole bunch of different things, and you'll probably notice a difference. So, again, if you just change one thing, if you're just getting started with health, probiotics. Just get on those and you will feel it immediately. Be like, wow, I have a ton of energy. We well, yeah, these guys are responsible for creating energy. Uh, what are our mitochondria in our cells, the power plants? They're bacteria, which some people would argue with, which I would say that's semantics, but these mitochondria, these power plants that generate ATP in our cells, those are essentially bacteria. So bacteria are kind of running the whole show. So what happens when we have an imbalance or a deficiency, if we've ever taken rounds of antibiotics, even just one round of antibiotics, I've read some articles, you could pretty much nearly permanently wipe out your good bacteria. That's where colostrum comes in and mixing colostrum and raw Jersey milk and raw kefir 
and letting that ferment. And that's a pretty much the most powerful gut healing drink I've ever tried. I'll make another video on that. Probiotic drink, you can use lemons, any fruit, lemons take, taste the best to me and enjoy.